Are you looking to start a vegetable garden, but you don't own the land, house, or apartment you live in? Gardening can be tough if you don't own the land under your feet, but it doesn't mean you can't garden. I have been renting for the past decade and have maintained a garden in one form or another throughout this entire time. Stay tuned and I will share with you my top tips for gardening while renting. Reasonmachines.com Note, the following advice is for entertainment purposes only. Please consult a lawyer for any legal advice. Tip number one, understand your lease agreement. When you sign your lease with your landlord, be sure to read it carefully. Your landlord may not even allow you to grow a garden. Sometimes there will be clauses that limit the use of certain gardening tools or objects, like fertilizer. Most of the time, these clauses are thrown into your rental agreement if the landlord already has a garden or other improvement on the property he or she does not want to be modified. The next part of this tip is to know the terms of duration. Will you have to renew your lease in the middle of the growing season? Is your lease month to month and you could potentially have to move everything mid-spring? I've had to pack up everything in the middle of the growing season multiple times due to leases expiring or rental agreements being terminated. So be aware of this when you have a garden. Tip number two, beware of making improvements to the property. This corresponds to the last tip. Your landlord may not allow you to make any improvements as part of your lease agreement. Or if you did make any improvements, your landlord could get upset. Please check beforehand. In addition, your landlord could see these improvements as an excuse to raise your rent due to the increase in property value you have made. A final note, you may not be reimbursed for making any said improvements. Anything you improve upon the property could be seen as a sunk cost. Tip number three, be mindful of what you plant and how you garden. If you plant something like mint, that will never go away, even after you move out. That could be something the landlord could ding you on your security deposit for. Other plants could attract unwanted critters. If you grow catnip, you could lure cats to your yard. If you grow something that attracts insects, you will also get insects in your yard. Some can be beneficial pollinators, but you could also draw on pests, like wasps. Some plants cannot be allowed by your HOA. I once lived in a place that didn't allow residents to grow tomatoes. Why? I have no idea. If you can think of a reason why they would be outlawed, please leave me a comment below. The last note in this tip, if you're choosing to grow indoors, your landlord may see the increase in the electric bill or suspect you're growing something illegal. So be wary of this. Tip number four, keep things small and portable. Anything planted in the ground isn't coming with you when you have to move, especially if your lease gets terminated in the middle of the growing season. The bigger your garden becomes, the more plants you will have to carry with you when you move. Tip number five, figure out a strategy for watering when you are away from home. When you have a garden, especially a container garden, you have to be providing regular water to your plants. Ideally, you can rig up a sprinkler system for your plants. If not, a housemate or neighbor may be able to help you here. Tip number six, research community garden options if you lack space at home. A community garden is the best option if you are in an apartment or somewhere that does not allow you to garden. Check with your community to see what's available to you. Tip number seven, gardening is a commitment of its own to your plants. If you're gonna start a garden, you have to be committed to keeping your plants alive. Like any pet, such as a dog or cat, plants are living things that need attention. With proper attention to your plants, you will have a thriving and beautiful garden. And those are my top tips for gardening while renting. Do you have any additional tips? Leave a comment below. Hit the like button and be sure to subscribe if you like this video and you want to see more like it. Check out another one of our videos for more gardening tips and tricks. We'll see you in the next one.